Now, if you're thinking of replacing or upgrading your windows and doors throughout your house, you might be mistaken to think it's going to be expensive, time consuming, and have to put up with lots of mess and disruption. Well, you're wrong. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to install a window with very little mess and disruption to your home. Here in my workshop, I've built a structure to simulate what your house is going to look like once the fitters have taken out your old windows and of course taken them away to be recycled. It's going to look a little bit like this. Brickwork from the outside, an opening where the old window was. You're going to be able to see a plasterwork from the inside, that's the inside block, and the plasterwork comes across and closes your cavity and your insulation in there. So the new window is going to be fitted to the outside brickwork. Your fitters are going to start by offering them up to each window around the house where they're going to be installed. Then what we'll do is fit a sill to the bottom of the frame, which will lift it up. We're going to level it into position and screw and fix it to the brickwork either side and also at the bottom and the top. Once it's fixed into place, we're going to put an expansion foam all the way around this five millimeter gap, right the way around the window to make it airtight. Once that's set, we can take the beads out, fit the glass into position. Once that's fitted, we can use a silicone sealant around the both the outside and the inside to fully seal it. Now the windowsill that arrives will always be oversized from the opening. As you can see here, it's probably about 100 mil bigger. This is designed for a reason. Some people prefer to have their window sills cut flush with the edge of their work on both sides, or some people prefer to notch out a square out the back end and leave a thing called a horn hanging out over both sides of the brickwork. I personally think aesthetically it looks better that way, so I'm going to do it to this one. I'm going to offer it up against that. Just do a pencil mark on here. Same again the opposite side just flush where the edge of the brickwork is and then I'm going to place it in the front leaving equal size horns over both sides and put another pen mark here so I'm going to take my set square and draw a line on where I've marked but what I am going to do is set that back just a couple of millimetres to make it that couple of millimetres shorter for a little bit of expansion room in there. I'll take a hacksaw and cut that off. Okay, so once you've cut one section off, just double check, you're happy with that horn sticking out there perfect yep we do the same on the opposite side now turn my window upside down and clamp it down i'm going to get the sill place it on offer it up both ends of course that's upside down on here i'm going to drill a couple of pilot holes one in each end Now I'm going to swap my drill bit to the screwdriver and I'm going to drive two screws in there to hold it in position. Double check that it's offered up both sides and it's pressed down into position and drive your screw in. Now you don't want to do them too tight because you don't want to distort the shape of the bottom of the sill. Apply a small amount of silicone both ends of the sill. This is to prevent any moist building up between the sill and the frame weeping into the brickwork. Okay, so that's fitted nice and firm. I'm going to take myself two plastic packers, just about four millimeters high, place them on there. Take the window. And hopefully this should fit in nice and snug with that five millimeter expansion gap right the way around the window. Perfect. Now the next stage is to make sure that it's perfectly level and square to the opening of the window. Put our spilt levels in position, we double check. 
Now what we can use is these great little inventions. There's a little sleeve, like a bag, that slides in to the corners and we can pump them and it starts to expand and hold the frame into position. We don't want to pump them too much the moment because again we don't want to distort the frame we just want it to hold into position okay. okay so the window is quite steady into position now so again we double check with our spirit levels and then we can easily make slight adjustments just to square that window up to the opening and making sure of course it's level and the frame itself is nice and tight more or less touching the plasterboard on the inside leaving about a 30 millimeter gap set back up the face of the brickwork still leaving our little expansion gaps around the sides which we require and are going to be filled in later with foam and silicone Okay, so now we're happy. We've got the frame into position where we need it. The next stage is we're going to screw and fix it to the actual brickwork. So we open our window like this. And these pump bags are holding it nice and secure into position for us. So I'm going to drill some pilot holes through the plastic frame. And then I'm going to get my window fixing frame fixings and these are going to be fixed through the frame and bit into the brickwork itself. Now the regulations they state is to fix these 150 millimeters from the bottom and also 150 millimeters from the top. Now this is a very small window so I'm just going to place one in the center as well. I like to put three in each side but if your window is a lot bigger you then need to space these out at 500 millimeters apart. <laughs> Great, so that is our frame firmly fixed in with three fixings on each side. Now this window was a lot longer, you'd want to put further fixings both in the bottom and the top to stop any flex if the wind was actually blowing against it. It's only a very small one, so I'm just going to put one in each. Now I'm going to use an expanding foam and foam all the way around both sides, the top and bottom of the frame to make it airtight. But I'm going to use a little bit of masking tape on the edge of the brickwork so once the foam expands and oozes out, it's not going to stick to the brickwork. So once that expands, it'll draw down the side of the actual frame, sticking to the inside of the brickwork, making a nice airtight seal. Once it's dry, we can trim that off with a trimming knife, and then we can use a silicone sealant right the way around the outside to seal it. So now the expanding foam right the way around the side is dry and hard. I'm going to open the window up and start to glaze it. I'm going to take away the beads out of the windows. Now I'm going to put these to one side so we know which side they come from. Next stage, make sure we've got no debris inside the actual window. And we get these little glazing packers, platforms sometimes they're called. They should slip into here. Now these work two ways. One, they pack the actual glazing panel itself up and they can square them up, putting them side and side and also along the top. It's often called toe and healing a window, but also they allow any moisture could build up around the glazing panel and in the frame, weep out through the weep holes and down onto the sill. So all the window packs are in place. I'm gonna very carefully lift the glass up, place it in between here and pressing it against the seals to the outside way with a small amount of pressure just double checking that the is nice and square the aperture of the glass to the actual frame itself and then i'm going to start by putting the top one in first to just hold that stop that glazing actually toppling out I'm going to press this one 
in position because you do have to put a fair bit of pressure on them to start them off once it's all this clipped into position I'm going to use a nylon hammer and just gently tap that up until it completely closes and seals in so that's one in now so now that's the top and bottom one fixed into position the glass is fine we just double check that pushing all fine in there we can now put the side pieces in there we go take off the little rubber bits from when it was in transport and now it is glazed what we need to do now is start to remove some of the protective film around the outside this will also be on the inside of the frames as well which it'll need removing now i've left a protective seal on around the edges here at the moment some people prefer to take that off first and then run the gun down it when they're very confident and good with the gun some people who aren't will leave it on but i'm going to wipe that across that in a short while and then take that off and then wipe it again it should be perfect now the front of the window is sealed with the silicone sealing and wiped down you do the same on the inside the screw we used earlier to fix the centre bottom of the frame in, apply a small amount of silicone over the top just to seal that as well. It really is that quick and easy to install UPVC windows. So if you are looking for a way to put value on your house and make it more energy efficient, why not get it right first time?